Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, September 13th, 2023. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. New moon Thursday, tomorrow, so nothing to see there. Uh, not much to see on the sun except a good cluster over here and some stuff facing Earth, but uh, yeah. So after a long period of quiet, many years, it's kind of nice to see the sun doing things again. Reminder, the first day of fall, Saturday, just after midnight, the 23rd. Drought conditions from last week to this definitely worsen in the southwestern corner, but the rest of the state is holding well. I look at my lawn and, yeah, I can probably turn the sprinklers off now. Looking nationally, we have a fair amount of drought in the upper Midwest and pretty good belt of drought from Arizona to Texas, and all of it got just a touch worse. But that California that was in its uh, mega drought is totally out of drought still. <coughs> Smoke, we should be in the clear and it looks pretty good out there. We have moisture around that's reducing visibility, but it's not really smoke right now. It's going to be starting getting cold up here and we're going to start getting winter snows or early fall snows. Hopefully that puts a uh, tamp down on the fire. For precipitation, the Central Mountains and Southeast really did well this last week. Uh, I think I got about just under a half inch of rain in my backyard, and that's about what that shows here. Looking at our severe weather climatology, going through May, June, July, August, September, third week of September, it's now officially unusual to get severe weather though we did uh, have a marginal risk a few days ago um, no actual uh, hail uh, or severe weather so I was trying to say severe weather reports uh, were sent in from anywhere in Colorado so that marginal risk was uh, really really marginal uh, looking at the actual convective potential and like that we got monsoonal stuff down here in the desert southwest with a marginal risk only the southwest part of the state has some thunderstorm activity today and then for thursday <coughs> chance of convection friday chance of convection that's it so looking at uh, the national maps we have potentially some heavy rain with thunderstorms slowly moving down south. Then we get our precipitation moving in uh, Thursday and Friday. Now over the next 10 days, normal temperatures drop from 85 to 75. We were in the 90s just recently, but now we are hovering around that area. Uh, 49 to 45. So we're not normal nighttime temperatures and into the 30s yet, but we're heading that way very quickly. Here's our Friday, Thursday, Friday uh, precipitation event coming and the chance of showers the next week. Water vapor satellite image does show moisture. Most of this seems by its moist motion to be out of the Pacific or at least low level maybe coming up being carried off to the east once it uh, gets to the higher levels of the atmosphere. So for Friday, this is our next storm system. You can see this trough associated with the low up in Canada. <coughs> And the trough stretches back down into the de desert southwest, and we are in the right place for a good period of lift. Here's Lee out here, starting to head for the Canadian and U.S. border. Uh, moisture for Friday, Thursday night looks really good, and the surface map for a six-hour period there, it has some embedded thunderstorms and like that. So yes, we are going to get some more water. Uh, then Sunday comes in the beginning of next week as, uh, has a big ridge reestablished itself in the west but uh, heights are lower and temperatures shouldn't go back to the 90s. Uh, is this the last 90s we'll see from last week? Probably not uh, but over the next 10 to 15 days 90 is unlikely and it gets harder and harder every day for that to happen. So let's put everything into motion. You can watch Lee coming up here. Here's our trough coming down it's kind of slow in passing so we get a good day of stuff there is moving into <coughs> the upper level pattern of, on the system moving into Maine and Canada and on then the ridge moves in for Monday there's this trough on the west coast 
putting us on the uphill side of a trough in the next weeks. So we will get a chance of showers. Little ripples go by. Deeper trough comes down the west coast, and the ridge is getting established over on the east coast. And high in the central plains as well. Kind of should watch the gulf for something to develop down there. So we got the cool air moving out from this last batch. We got cool air lingering in the mountains in the Friday. That cold front comes in on Thursday, Friday, keeping the cool kind of lingering around. Into Sunday, the heat is reestablishing itself in the west. The cool air is slow to move into Texas. Real heat in the west. Here's another cold front coming down. Keep an eye on that. There's convection in the afternoon, Tuesday. More in, widely scattered on Wednesday next week. That's that trough coming down in the west coast, much cooler than normal air. We're sort of caught here on the ridge stuff with heat. So looking at moisture, of course with the hurricane, lots of moisture out there. <coughs> Excuse me, don't have a cough button. Um, then the moisture here gets pushed down by Saturday and Sunday. We dry out quite significantly. And you can see this moisture in the Rockies trying to get reestablished. More moisture kind of coming in from the west and the south. <coughs> For Tuesday and Wednesday, we could see some convection and then dry air kind of comes in after that. For dew points, we start with dew points pretty high. As temperatures drop, uh, 40, 49, 50 dew point is pretty significant. 55 is so not far away. Do I have a cough button? <coughs> and then for the weekend, beginning of next week, it's dry. Lots of moisture really close to the state. And it does get pulled back in a little bit now and then. Watching for the convection and storminess here at Thursday into Friday. Looks like a nice period, 24 hours of elevated rain chances in the south of the mountains and then it moves away. You can see Lee going up and away. Coming in on Monday, completely dry Sunday, Monday. <coughs> then Tuesday, a little bit of stuff around there. Tuesday night and in the mountains on Wednesday, but that's about it. Over the next five days, South Central Mountains get more than most folks. Uh, snow, look at that, the snow map is back. We get some higher elevation snows, there's Pikes Peak, some of the higher elevations here, and then in the south uh, western part of the state. Over the next 10 days, add a little bit more, but that's about a quarter to a half inch in the Longmont area. And there's our snow, a little bit more piles up in the very highest elevations. So the 70s going into Thursday, upper 60s and Friday with the storm, pretty good chance of rain Thursday afternoon, Friday morning. We warm up into the 80s with the ridge at the beginning of next week with low st storm chances and maybe I could be convinced to up the pop chances on Tuesday. So here's Lee, it's got large area of hurricane force winds, still a major hurricane but it's weakening to hurricane and then tropical storm status as it gets close to New England. Still, places from um, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Maine are going to see a lot of rain, if not much wind. Check out Longmont Leader for more frequent weather and news updates. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth saying keep looking up.